Hey guys, how's it going? Dan Dempsey with Lamello USA. Today we're with Josh from Innovative Integrations. <laughs> He's showing us a really cool cash wrap project he recently completed with the Lamello Flexus. It's our newest Clamex connector. Uh, he's going to walk us through what he did and why he did it. And uh, we're going to put a couple of these fins together, pieces together for you to see. All right. All right, Josh. So I see you got the P10 connector in here as well, the yeah. typical P system slot. But we also have these two outside five millimeter holes. Uh, you want to tell us what those are for? Uh, so these are they're location pins. Mm -hmm. Basically, this allows me to position all these exactly where I want it to match the mating piece. And so you cut uh, these on your CNC, right? Correct. Yep. I uh, eighth inch bit um, to cut these. Mm -hmm. This obviously isn't here, mm -hmm. but uh, then when I go to route the P10. Uh, these pins fit perfectly in the hole. Look at that. And uh, you just plunge and go and, you know, work your way down. So as opposed to measuring all this out by hand and having to cut these by hand, you're able to drill your location holes where your slot needs to be. So these two 5 millimeter holes are 101 millimeters apart from each other, which is the exact offset of these two where typically your rubber grips are on the base plate of your Zeta. So what we did here, those rubber grips pop out, the pins go right on in, he cuts these on his CNC and he's able to just make his slot centered on those pins. Saves a lot of time, definitely. A ton of time. All right, so earlier we were showing you guys how Josh used the positioning pins right here to make holes, make the slots on the face of his material. We also have a second uh, attachment here. This is called our positioning tab. And so this is for drilling or is making the slot on the edge of your material. So for this application, what Josh is seeing, see all, he, all it has to do is it's gonna drill one single six millimeter hole about 7.5 millimeters off of the edge of his material. He attaches his stop square now to the Zeta machine. You can see this little red tab sticking out. Drop this tab into that hole the CNC made for me. And now I can plunge in and make my slot and it's going to be centered right on this hole. Best part about this system is when I go and slide in my Clamex connector, that's my access hole to turn the cam lock right there. All right guys, so real quickly, just wanted to kind of explain to you why Josh chose the Flexus connector over our standard Clamex P14. I have this little mock-up right here. So as you can imagine, as he's putting his fin on the piece here, he's gotta go make slots on all three sides of the kiosk. These Clamex connectors have these fixed tabs here, which are great for when you're indexing your two pieces. It also allows for a little bit of lateral adjustment. As you can see, they fit into these slots on the female side, but the tabs are a little bit smaller than the slots themselves, so that gives you the lateral adjustment of the Clamex. However, in this application, if he's sliding a fin onto all three sides, these tabs are gonna get in the way. So what he used was the Flexus connector. Those tabs are actually spring-loaded now, so what he can do is slide his piece on, and those will de decompress and then slide his fin into the mating slots. And one thing you had mentioned before to me earlier was that 
with the, all these fins attached, and you guys can see how many of these are going on, not only does it become a much larger unit assembled, but it also becomes much heavier. Yes. So the, the ability to bring just the box in and then attach the fins at the job site was a good thing for it. Yeah.